ABC senior foreign correspondent Ian Paddle is on the ground in Kyiv with the very latest on the crisis. Ian, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Gio. Another night of bombardment and battles, not just here in the capital, but also across Ukraine. Russian forces now advancing in many parts of the country, but also being slowed by really strong Ukrainian defenses. This morning, Russian troops moving deeper into the Ukrainian capital, the city facing a potential siege. Despite claims civilians aren't being targeted, in this social media post, you can see an apartment block in the city struck this morning. It's unclear by whom. Incredibly, no one was killed. Tatiana and her family were inside the building. She says, my kid's room is now just a hole. If she'd been in there, she wouldn't have survived. Overnight, battles raging in parts of the city, but Ukrainian troops mounting a solid defence so far. Ukrainian President Zelensky this morning outside in central Kyiv, vowing we will defend our country because our arms are our truth. Our truth is that it's our land, and we will defend all of this. A senior Pentagon official telling ABC News the first two days have not gone as well as the Russians expected, but it's believed they are resupplied and poised to execute a coordinated assault on Kyiv at any time. Zelensky warning last night the coming hours would be tough, saying we cannot lose Kyiv. The military relaxing restrictions on who can join the army. Defence forces seen patrolling in civilian clothes, wearing yellow armbands instead of uniforms. 18,000 weapons have been handed out to volunteers to help in the fight. Alexei Goncharenko is a prominent lawmaker here. But today, he's one more armed citizen. I don't want to fight. I'm not a soldier. I'm not a professional military man. But uh, I am not ready to capitulate. That's, that's the difference. Videos posted online show an armoured vehicle crushing a car on the edge of the capital. Miraculously, the stunned driver escaping alive. Northwest of Kyiv, this bridge reportedly destroyed to slow Russia's advance from the north. Russian soldiers now advancing on the roads. New satellite images showing Russian military deployments in southern Belarus, including ground transport helicopters just 20 miles from the border with Ukraine. And near the Black Sea coast, as thousands of troops arrived in a so-called amphibious assault, naval infantry coming ashore in the town of Melitopol. <laughs> Gunshots ringing out on this train platform as hundreds attempt to board, desperate to escape Kyiv. And in Dnipro in the east, Lika Kuznetsova and her family are a day's drive from the nearest border. Her husband expects to be drafted, so she could be forced to leave him behind when the time comes. Today was the first time that my husband and I we actually looked at a map and, uh, you know, we were trying to figure out the best way for me and my child to travel if I had to flee. Was. Well, senior U.S. official warning that the Russians could attempt a mass move into Kyiv today, saying it will be brutal. But for now, Ukrainian defense is holding up, but under incredible pressure. Guys, I have to say the atmosphere in the city is electric. I mean, it's Saturday afternoon and you can almost hear a pin drop. In fact, the only sound breaking the silence is the sound of war. And this city, its residents are now bracing for an even tougher onslaught ahead. Tough days definitely lie ahead. Lindsay. We can certainly imagine. Ian, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.